wonder why all those beautiful Instagram photographs look so fabulous? Those pictures are fake done by stylists, people moving stuff around, filters, they doctor those things to make them look fabulous. <laughs> I'm gonna show you 10 pro secrets that are gonna make your house look like a designer house regardless of your style. The number one item that you need, it's gonna surprise you, <gasps> but it's a collection of vases. Now, you're going, what, why vases, for real? I'll tell you why. Every one of these beautiful photos always has fresh cut flowers in them. Now. You may or may not put fresh cut real flowers in them. You may put something in silk in them, but you need a variety and they don't need to be expensive, guys. I use this one basic set from West Elm all the time because they can be put in a lot of different places. Now, if you have a fabulous one, my gosh, don't miss that one. But you want a tall, a short, a wide, you want a variety and make sure you've got them at hand when you're ready to have your house look fabulous. Number two is truly a designer secret because lighting and accent and uplighting in particular is what draws your eye towards a specific focal point. So we all use it to make you look in certain directions. Now, the great thing about it is if you're building a house or whatever, you can add some things in, at least strips are easy to grab. But if you don't have any ability to do that, Gosh, get some plug-in uplight cans like these guys. They're fantastic. Look how great that plant looks uplit and how it amazingly becomes a focal point. This is an absolutely hush-hush secret that now you know for your house. Number three is actually a little bit like having a superpower for your decor and it's mirrors. Oh my gosh. We all know how fabulous they can look if they're kind of a big statement mirror. They can act as a secondary focal point like you see here, but you can also use them to really visually expand the space. That's where their superpowers come in. Look at this bathroom for a second. That whole back wall is done in two colors of mirror, but it just expands that bathroom into infinity. It's fantastic. I also love this beautiful mirrored wall with the little tiles with antiquing. That's beautiful and gives texture at the same time and expands the room. Mirrors are the triple threat for your home, so you gotta make sure you have a few. Okay guys, now everything that I'm telling you about today are available in the Design Space store. So go check that out. The number four pro secret is baskets, baby. I gotta tell you, these guys are like the Swiss army knife of decor. You can throw stuff in things to hide them. They add a little bit of texture. They're always interesting. They create layers to them. They are the all purpose tool and you can make them look like any design style you've got rocking in your space. Now guys, number five is a multi-purpose super pro tool that we use all the time in all kinds of spaces and it's the decorative tray. And you know what? You can get a few of them. You need them in kind of different areas, different looks, but they all can relate to your style and they are the ace in the hole when you want to grab a couple of small items together, maybe like a vase and a little bit of a trinket or a tray. They're perfect for displaying collections. They're just super, super useful for organizing and keeping things looking decorative. So they're absolutely a tool you gotta have. Okay guys, now the next one up is absolutely one of my favorites, but it's really kind of a secret. And this one's what I call the found object. Why do I love this one so much? is because it's all about who you are. This is that point where you get to take your space and add an element to it that gives a storyline or something really interesting about who you are. Now, it can be anything. It can be a found object like this huge, I don't know, piece of rock that's amazing. Or maybe it's a travel memento. Maybe it's a collection of a couple of small antiques that you've been inherited from I don't know where. It's something that tells your story. It's unique, it's textural. It's usually just a couple of pieces or maybe just one item. And it completely rounds out and takes the anonymity out of your space. Now, 
This next item is probably in every other Instagram photo, and that is the stack of decorative art books. Now, the reason these are so timeless and so amazing is because not only can they tell a story about things that you're interested in, and so that's an interesting thing, but it also gives you the ability to create textural interest in high and low when you're working with your decor in the space, wherever it may be, bookshelves, coffee table, etc. Super, super flexible and amazing tool that you cannot be without, as you can see in every Instagram photo. Okay. Okay, so now this next designer pro secret is actually plants. And I'm not talking about Seymour. I'm actually talking about plants that you can put into the space that creates part of your design style statement. So it can be everything from a seven foot ficus or a little tiny succulent on the top of a desk. But here's the reality, guys. What's important is the scale of the plant for the space and the container that it's in. Those are two things you have to study to make sure you get it right. But if you do, designer kudos for you. I know you guys have been waiting for this last one and I'm telling you it is not gonna disappoint, but it is a super secret. I am opening my vault level secret, which is the decorative pillow collection. I can hear the eyes rolling, guys, but let me explain something to you. Decorative pillows go a long way towards creating a finished look in a space, and that's what everybody loves about those Instagram photos. They're super, super finished and dialed in. Well, you need some decorative pillows in virtually every space. You want to actually build a collection with a couple of those and then finish it with the coup de gras, which is the beautiful custom designed pillows like this set. Now, you got to get them done in a seamstress. There's a little extra work. You got to select the fabrics, but this will make your room sing. <laughs> It's that ultimate finished detail that makes the room feel bespoke and of the style statement that you are dialing in. Do not skip this step, guys. It is actually a pro secret that no one talks about. Next up, I want you guys to go to this video be sure and like and subscribe, and don't miss checking out Design Space. It's really amazing. I'll see you soon.